Yes, the COVID-19 vaccines are safe. They have been tested on tens of thousands of people before coming to market. It is true that the technology is new. So it's a mRNA vaccine. The Johnson & Johnson one is a viral vector, but the technology for mRNA vaccines and viral vectors has been around for decades. So there was already work done on vaccines for other coronavirus types of diseases like SARS and MERS. And there was a lot of directed effort from all venues towards developing the vaccine. So it was able to come to market quicker than we typically expect because of a coordinated effort and building on previous research. And so, yes, they are very, very safe. And all the information that we have uh, definitely confirms that. So the vaccine has little pieces of mRNA wrapped in a lipid nanoparticle. When that little lipid nanoparticle comes into contact with our cells, our cells absorb it. That piece of mRNA goes inside our cells. Now our cells normally, with any mRNA that's around, they use it as instructions to make a protein. And the protein that this mRNA is for is the spike protein, as it's called on the coronavirus. If you've seen diagrams of the coronavirus, it has these little basically spikes sticking out of it. That's what that mRNA is the instruction for. So our cell takes that mRNA, makes that spike protein, puts it on its surface, and now that's visible, so to speak, to the rest of our immune system. So our immune system comes around, inspects the spike protein, realizes it's not ours, it's not human, it's an infection, so it creates antibodies to it. And that allows us to fight off the disease more quickly and effectively if you come into contact with the real deal. Some people um, worry that the mRNA might change their genetic code because it's genetic material, but it's different than DNA. DNA is the genetic code that's deeper inside the cell, has its own separate membrane around it in the nucleus. mRNA does not go there. mRNA stays outside, the protein is made, it's discarded, and it's done. After the vaccine, um, mainly people find that their arm is sore for a few days, maybe last up to a week. Some other common side effects are headache, body aches, joint pain, fatigue, and fevers and chills. Those usually come on within one to three days of getting the vaccine. They tend to go away usually within, again, one to two days. The symptoms that are not attributable to the vaccine are runny nose, sore throat, cough, shortness of breath, or loss of sense of taste or smell. If those happen, those are not from a vaccine, and we're encouraging people to contact their primary care provider for some guidance on that. For the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines that are two-dose vaccine series, it's two weeks after the second dose. For the Johnson & Johnson that's relatively newer, it's a one-dose vaccine, it's four weeks after that vaccine. Yes, it is still possible to get the COVID disease after vaccination. And if somebody does get the COVID disease after vaccination, it is theoretically possible to pass it on to someone else because the virus is inside that person's body. But the point of the vaccine isn't necessarily to prevent an infection in the first place. The point of the vaccine is to keep people from getting seriously ill or dying from it. So if it accomplishes that, that's great. That really helps to reduce the mortality, helps to reduce the burden on the healthcare system. Uh, but yes, for now, until we find out more, it is recommended that people continue to wear masks, continue to distance, even if they've gotten the vaccine.